that you were overlooked by schools in high school now that you've been out for what <coughs> going into your third year is it still motivation for you now i think it, it'll always be motivation i think that goes for anybody you know who who's in that situation i think you just use it as a chip on your shoulder you know you, every time you step on the field every time you go out to practice every time you lift you want to you know prove that you know you're you're capable of being here because you know you were overlooked so i think that that's a chip that'll be on my shoulder for you know, the rest of my career so. how difficult do you think this has been for tokes you know going back to even last year because he played as a true freshman and then you know didn't get to play last year and then had medical issues and now he's there at practice but i'm sure you guys know <laughs> know each other well and, you know what's it's been like for him um I, I can't really speak for him on how it's been, but me knowing Tokes, I know he's a hardworking guy. Um, you know, he has a good mindset, and he can do anything he puts his mind to, and he's real positive, and I'll always be there for him. I know he'll always be there for me, so, you know, we're going to continue to work hard and, you know, just handle it day by day. What's the biggest thing that Coach Foster tries to instill? What, is, what, what have you learned about his coaching style that he's really focused on? Um, just being physical and playing with the attitude. Um, you know, you want, like I said, running back is that position where, you know, you're getting the ball and you're getting the ball in tough situations and you got to be tough minded and you have to be physically tough to play the position. So uh, just being tough and, and being a professional about how we handle our business is something that he really hits on. You know, he wants us to not only handle our business on the field, but off the field. So, Does it feel weird you're kind of 